Virgin Voyages. At the steakhouse. What's the name of the steakhouse? The Wake. The Wake. What do you guys think? Let's see what's going on. Join us. The wait. Ooh. Stunning. I can't wait to eat. I know, me too. Guys, I am so starving. It is nine o'clock at night. I have not even had one meal on the Virgin Voyage. This is our first taste of a morsel. Not even a I wanted to be hungry because I knew it was the steak. So we are seated and it is really nice in here guys. I'm sorry, I just saw something on the video that got me excited. You know they do brunch here? And really? they do bottomless brunch where you can get um, rosé or sparkling wine or mimosas or Bloody Marys or Heineken's or strong roll, bottomless. During brunch, enjoy bottomless pours. Only for $25. Sign me up. We'll be back. Right. <laughs> I like that. So guys, the menu is a scannable menu. It's one of those where you scan and then the menu will come up. So on the menu. What are we looking like? So we've got the brunch cocktails, like she was talking about, the bottomless brunch. The drinks, the brunch, the lunch, and the dinner that we're interested in tonight. Okay, so we're gonna take a little look through this and we will figure out what we wanna do. Now let me show you something else, guys. This view is the absolute back of the ship. Look at that. Look at that view back there. The ship sailing off. So nice. So nice. It's literally the back of the ship. Beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Please enjoy one of the Thank you. Thank you. Yes, please. That's good. Thank you. All right. So what do you got? Can I have some on top of it? I have a clam chowder, which actually has little pieces of like fried, fried clams. Did you guys see when they poured the chowder? No, we didn't turn the camera on yet. They poured the chowder onto it. Fresh. Very classy. I like it. I like class. Well, she's got class. She's got class, okay. She's got style, she's got class. She's got it all. All right. Let me show let me show everybody what she has. Well, we don't you have something else? Oh, I do. Because I do. one appetizer would just Never. be It would just be one. And let me mention to you, on Virgin Voyages, the steakhouse is not an additional cost. This is right. included. Um, However, like they do have some selections you that you can upcharge, like like a tomahawk is like sixty five, which is not bad for two people. Right, not bad. Or even from you, which you want, but they do have a good shrimp, which we ordered, and we're gonna see. If we this one. I mean, it's gonna be worth it. It's free. <laughs> I mean, it's right. included. And then I got a wedge salad. Oh, okay. With the bacon and the eggs and the blue cheese crumbles. Oh, this looks divine. Looks good. Yes. And here, guys, I got the favorite. It's the bone marrow. <laughs> oh, 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 yes. The bone marrow. You open for the bone marrow. Yo. <laughs> It's the bone marrow. See, it wasn't the bone marrow for me that turned me off. As long as I don't have no beef tartare, I'm cool with the bone marrow. It is missing a little tartare. No, it's it's doing perfectly fine. Oh, my little Rainlin. She won't have the bread. A red salad. All right. So clearly, I bought in the bone marrow. 
So as I was having it, I was telling Jasmine that, you know what? Carnival Cruises bone marrow might be better. And then I realized why they gave all this Texas toast, because you can actually take that and kind of suck up the sauce. And that right there is where it's at. That was good for you? It was, it was it. Whatever the word is that you use to describe good tasting food. Well, give me a few words. Bussin'. I don't poppin'. use that word. <laughs> what words do you use? Slamming. Mad good. Mad good. Mad New York. <laughs> so, uh, so what was the clam chowder? Because they're looking like that was mad good. <laughs> That was mad good, y'all. Mad good? The fact that they had like pieces of fried clams lined up. Crazy. Just with the chowder over top. Dang. They knew what they was doing with that. That was really good. Wow. Okay. I just wish this had more dressing. The salad. It's good though. Okay. So I can use it. Why is it dry or something? Or it has dressing, but it needs more. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, enjoy. We got the meats coming soon. Indeed. You hyped? I'm hyped. I'm a meat eater, so we know. I'm ready. We know. We're not so, just a meat eater. So eat the, the man who just ate the bone now. Who eats the inside <laughs> of a bone. <laughs> so, all right. Coming soon. Coming soon, guys. And yes, we did order two glasses of wine. What type of wine was that? Bonanza. A bonanza. $12 a glass, guys. Um, that is the cost. A New York State. Yummy. Another New York State. That smells divine. Yep. And we lamb ordered chops. some yes. lamb chops too. Yes. 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 Alright. Baked potato. Would you like to keep the bread for you, Dina? Yeah, anywhere is fine. Yeah, you can take the bread. Thank you. We are done. So I have a creamy spinach? Yes. Yummy. We have American steak sauce, verde is the bone marrow, salsa verde, all the way from Argentina. Selection of salted mac. Enjoy bone Wonderful. That looks delicious. Thank you so much. So we got some asparagus guys there. We got the mushrooms there in the corner. Oh. Um, get on the asparagus, please. A little black pepper going there. And that's it. Those lamb chops Thank are looking. Thank you. We want black pepper or anything, Rich? No, I'm good. Thank you. Thank you. That's a good. That's a pretty decent size, guys. For three ninety nine. Yeah. I like that. Yes. Absolutely. Okay. It looks really good. It looks amazing. Let's do it. Really All right, guys. So back to how we traditionally did it, which is. Halfway through the meal, let's go for a review. So here's what I got for you. What I'm thinking is, and Jasmine's here, you can chime in. The steak is very, very, the New York strip that we got, it's, it's cooked well and all that. It's, it's good tasting, the, the meat, but the seasoning is definitely lacking. Even, maybe even a little bit of salt. And I, I'm not a believer in just salt as seasoning, but the steak, some. So, lacking a little bit to me um, if they put us a, a good rub on it could make it amazing um, but it's definitely very standard I agree. out of 10 the steak I have to say it's bringing down the rating of the entire meal oh. the steak do you agree with that yeah 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 I mean we came to a steak house right so can I come in for size exactly so the steak Although is like the size was divine I mean the steak alone guys is like a five but then, you know, I get to the side, cream spinach is slamming. The mushrooms are amazing. The mu like, you could sit there and just keep eating the mushrooms. Yeah. Right? Really, anyway. The asparagus so good. is cooked to perfection. Yeah. You know when you cook asparagus and you could feel that it's still starchy, it's got a little crunch? No, this one is like, yeah. texture is just, it's perfect. Do you agree with that? I agree. Nice crunch, I nice love sauce. It. Very good. Yeah. Now yeah. the lamb chop, we still have um, to review. And the lamb chop is probably like a seven. Yeah. It, it's, it also is lacking in the seasoning department. You know, 
so the seasoning department is probably closed tonight it's looking like at this restaurant <laughs> it's probably gonna be closed tomorrow night too so they can improve there um, these mashed potatoes twice baked. twice baked mashed. mash that's pretty good um, so it's basically looking like the sides I'm telling you these sides are all like a nine they're really really good they're better than a lot of places that have good steak but the actual steak and lamb chop it's all right I agree so overall uh, I'm gonna go with a seven what are you thinking I was gonna give a six so we are at a six and a half which is a pretty low score for us because sometimes we're being generous and we still end up on an eight. So, <laughs> no, it's, uh, I mean, to be real. So. so guys, the most important question is would I return, right? Because that means a lot more than the score. And would I return? Yes. Yes, the steak is kind of basic. But the overall meal is not bad at all. Yeah. And if you're in the mood for steak, it'll still kind of do it. Yeah, you know, satisfy that steak craving. Yeah, you might just feel like eating steak. And then let's keep this in mind. This is free. Inclu you don't pay an upcharge. Well, it's included. It's included. So, so, if you would have paid, you know, the sixty-five dollars for the tomahawk, and then it wasn't that good, then, then I may have a problem. Right. right. But for me to not pay any extra to have this meal, and I'm in the mood for steak. And lamb chops, and actually I haven't had lamb, chop, lamb chops in a minute. Those are not the best lamb chops I've ever had, but it gave me that satisfaction of saying, oh, I had some lamb chops recently. Yeah, so that's my review. Wonderful, we love your reviews, babe. Okay. <laughs>